welcome to today's vlog and if you're new here welcome my name is jasmine so i just got back from running my sunday errands i went to the coffee shop to plan my week like i always do and then i went to trader joe's and whole foods to pick up a few things i didn't do like a grocery run i still have to do that tomorrow i more so just picked up a few things that i will need for dinner tonight and um for breakfast tomorrow morning so i'll give you a little haul i got some kitchen cloth towels i got another pack of the frozen teriyaki chicken some blueberries strawberries and i also picked up some apricots i love apricots and i haven't had them in a while I also picked up some Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. I like to use this in the morning. I don't like to wash my face in the morning. I just freshen up with this and then moisturize an SPF. And then from Whole Foods, I pretty much just got what we needed for dinner. Gonna cook some fresh asparagus. And then this is a potato salad from their deli. And then I got a rotisserie chicken. I didn't feel like cooking tonight. So this is what we're gonna do. of the day and miss fifi being a cutie pie she always does this thing where she'll like plop right in front of me and just start acting so cute hi fifi <sighs> we're about to declutter the kitchen i need to organize my drawers get rid of stuff i never ended up doing my spring cleaning so we're gonna do it today but before i do i ended up getting some home things and also random little things but i'm gonna save the random things either later in this vlog i'll show it to you guys or i'll save it for another vlog once i have more things to show you guys but i want to show the home stuff that i got and i got, found some really good things so the first thing that i got are these storage containers for leftovers meal prep we always have leftovers but i don't have any containers to put them in so i found these glass ones comes in five of this regular size i don't know how many ounces this is but inside there is a smaller container as well so i believe in total you have 10 containers which i think for the price i can't remember exactly how much it was but i know it was a good deal for the amount of containers that you get and i feel like the quality is really good i also got some new cooking utensils because the ones that i have i've had them for a few years now and a lot of them are raggedy so when i declutter today i'm going to be getting rid of a lot of things got these and these are the brand Perodi, and i believe this is the same brand as my pots and pans the tan ones so i like how the pot and pans are holding up so we're gonna see how these hold up the base are silicone and then the <sighs> anyways the base is silicone and then the handle is wooden and I feel like it matches well with our apartment aesthetic. And then I bought some new glasses again for the millionth time because all of our glasses always break. This is all we have right now and these cups, I really like these. I also got them on Amazon but I don't like them for iced coffee because they're a little too small. Same with these ones that I recently purchased from Amazon as well, it's a little dirty. But I like these, I just don't like them for iced coffee, it's not big enough. I ended up getting these, I believe these are, I wanna say 15 or 16 ounces. The ones that I currently have are 12 ounces. So these are a little bigger and I love the shape of this glass. I think it's super sleek and it actually came with glass straws which i didn't even realize and then these utensils i'm so excited for i was searching all over amazon for flatware that was this shade of gold because a lot of the flatware that i saw were either the basic silver matte black or a very bright gold kind of like these don't even worry about this we're gonna get into this too but a lot of the um 
flatware that I saw on Amazon were this shade of gold and this is nice but that wasn't the look that I was going for. I wanted more of a champagne gold gold. I like the more muted tone and I was searching all over Amazon for like a few hours before I finally found these and I'm so happy with how they look. I'm really happy that I found these. I'll link obviously everything down below but this was a find. And in here we have food storage containers for our fruits, our veggies, because we go through a lot of fruits and we chop them up because we don't have a lot of containers as is it takes up a lot of the containers that i use when i'm trying to cook so as you can see right now we have them just like randomly and i don't like how that looks so i bought this acrylic storage container for my fruits and veggies it's this one big container i'm not sure you could probably put like apples and bigger fruit and things in this bottom container and then there's three of these middle sized containers so within each of these middle sized containers are these two smaller containers so you get quite a bit of storage and i like all the different sizes that's really convenient usually a lot of have like not enough of the different sizes but I feel like this is perfect so I'm excited to have a more organized fridge and actually have a container for everything like I said I also got some other stuff from Amazon but they're like miscellaneous things so I'll wait to show you guys the other stuff I am still waiting for a new desk chair I finally got myself a new one I've been needing a new one the one that I currently have is very uncomfortable and it actually pretty much broke the other day so I just ordered a new one here so that should come in Thursday so I'll show you guys that when it gets here but we're going to get started with organizing finished up organizing decluttering 99% of the way and I'll tell you why in a moment but I organized this drawer it had my utensils it pretty much looks the same as it did but it's just a little bit more organized and here I have all my new flatware here I kept my old silverware and then I got rid of a few things as well in this box is old silverware things that I'm giving to my mom actually I'll be seeing her next week so I'm gonna take this to her, but yeah, everything, flatware, silverware. Um, I have a few utensils in here as well. And then, this looks so much better. I used to have two of these utensil holders here and I didn't like it because, as you could tell, my counter space is very small. So even this is like the max for me. But, um, and then I put this away at night once I'm done with it. But this is my new silverware that I got today, and this is old one, some old ones that I've had. My wellness drawer, my wellness drawer was already organized, so I didn't need to do much in here to be honest. I cleaned this out a few weeks ago. My fridge, I already used some of the containers that I just got. Not for everything, just because some stuff was already um, put away, but I use like these containers are the ones that I just got. These are some of the new containers I got as well. Even just like right there, it looks so much better than it did before. And then down here is where I had all of my containers, my dishes. You can't really tell, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did before. We got that done. And then my glass, Sure. I didn't really organize in here. I honestly just put the new glassware and moved some things around. Over here is like my specialty glassware. And then up there is just like random things that I don't really use that often. So the reason why I say my kitchen is 
99% organized is because I do not go into this drawer. This is like my random everything drawer where everything is just everywhere. I'm not even gonna open it because it is embarrassing. But I didn't organize in here because I don't have the proper organizational containers that I need. So I feel like if I were to go in and organize it, it would be a mess by tomorrow. So I'm not gonna bother with that until I get the organization things that I need. And then the other thing that I didn't really organize, which Again, I don't really need to do much organizing as my pantry. I just have like a few crumbs that I need to pick up, but honestly, there isn't much to organize in here. Um, same with here. Not, I, th I would say it's pretty organized. This one right here is a little bit more random and all over the place. I like my things to be in a container, but I don't have enough containers right now to fit everything, so that's another thing I need to get. But I would say for the most part, it's honestly really organized. And up there, it's just like protein things, random things, extras and things like that. It feels so good to have that out of the way. I've been meaning to organize my kitchen specifically for a while now, but I just have not gone around to it. I haven't had time. The next thing I want to clean out my skincare <clears throat> and my hair products and like my bathroom. The other thing that I really want to get together is my office, you guys. Like I have neglected my office so much and I just want to get it together. So it doesn't look too bad in here, but I have a vision for it and this is not the vision. So first and foremost, I haven't really figured figured out what layout I want for my office. I've tried several different things, but I haven't found something that I like, love, and enjoy. I want to upgrade my desk. I got this little desk when we first moved and it was great for the time being, but I definitely need a bigger desk. It always is so cluttered and crowded in there. And I want a bigger desk and a more sturdier desk. That one is not the sturdiest. And I also am getting a new desk chair. Like I mentioned earlier, it should be coming on Thursday. So I'm glad I'm getting a new desk chair because I've been needing one. That's one thing. I want to upgrade my desk. We're getting a new desk chair. Organizational wise, so I don't have like any cabinets or anything. I need something to organize my paperwork and also I have a lot of, a lot of equipment. I have my microphone, my headphones. I have a bunch of hard drives. I have a lot of things that I kind of just throw in here randomly. But I have a lot of equipment and I want to get some sort of dresser or something to help keep my space organized because I don't love how that looks with the basket. The next thing I want to tackle is this couch situation. So this isn't my ideal couch. Couch, first of all, I don't love the shape of the couch. It's very long and awkward. And also it is not in the best condition. So for one, my cats kind of messed it up on the other side. When we first got the couch, we deep cleaned it and we left it outside to dry. And for some reason it's stained. I don't know what it is, but it's stained. So it has like this nasty water stain on it. And obviously like it's not dirty because we clean it often, but it just looks dirty. I want to upgrade our mirror. I've had this mirror for a few years now, and I think this would be a good mirror to have maybe in our bedroom, but I definitely want to get a nicer mirror. I also want to get a nicer mirror for the living room. And then over here is just not a vibe. I want to come in here and I want to feel inspired and motivated to get to work, to create, and right now I don't really feel that. That is the next thing that I want to tackle. I just got back from a little self-care morning that I had today. I went to a new Pilates studio, as you guys saw. It was actually my first time taking reformers Pilates. I've never done that before. I've only ever done mat Pilates, yoga, bar, but I've never done the reformer. And it was a little nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie, but I really, really enjoyed today's workout. It was just up my alley, especially being on my period right now. It was like the perfect workout class and it was a new studio. They actually just opened up a few weeks ago. I believe they have other locations as well, but they 
just opened up this location a few weeks ago. I believe it's called the Workshop Pilates or the Pilates Workshop or something like that. I think they also do heated mat Pilates as well. So I still have to try that one, but we did reformers today. And then I also got my nails done. I just stuck with the same color and shape. I just shortened them down a bit, but I didn't show you guys my new office chair. It came in. So this is the new office chair. It is so comfortable. I can sit crisscross on here and I used it for the first time. I think we set it up yesterday. Yeah, we set it up yesterday. So yesterday was my first time using it. It's super comfortable and it has a lot of different features. Obviously it spins and you can also put it where it goes back, but I personally don't like that. So I have it a little bit more like set in place. So when I lean back, the chair doesn't lean all the way back, but you can obviously do that. And then you can adjust the height of it as well. The only thing I wish it did have was wheels because I'm on carpet, but I do believe you can add attachable wheels onto this if I'm not mistaken. So, but I love it so much. I'll link this down below. I believe this um, chair was under $50 and I got it on Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned that. So that's my new desk chair. That's how our morning has been. We're about to just reset for the week, deep clean our apartment, finish laundry, organize, do all that right now. And I don't think I've told you guys, I'm actually going back to California on Monday. So I have to finish. I haven't even started actually. I have to pack. I'm going to be in California for about a week. I originally was only supposed to go for the weekend next weekend, but I decided to extend my trip and go out there for a week. So I'm really excited and kick off the summer the right way. So I have to pack for that as well. Finish my podcast. It's done. It's edited. I just have to upload it and have it scheduled out to go out on Monday. I have to finish this vlog. Hopefully I can get it up by tomorrow. So we have a busy day today but we're also gonna do some self-care tonight as well you guys look what finally came in the mail my journals are here if you listen to my last podcast episode you know that i've been waiting on these journals and i want to open them up with you guys probably do it right here in my room let me prop you guys down so these are the journals that my new job sent me if you didn't know, Inside Then Out, they are a wellness um, wellness lifestyle brand. They do journals, planners. I actually bought their planner before I started working for them. I got two journals, and I love that they come in individual boxes. I think that's so cute, um, just to like protect them and everything. So the first journal that I got is their dig deeper journal deeper journal and this one is a guided journal so it has i believe 180 journal prompts but i definitely want to incorporate this into my self-care routine somehow so this one is so beautiful it's like this beautiful neutral color which you know i love sorry the lighting in here isn't the best so that's the first one that i got and then the next one that i'm excited for is the Taurus journal. So this one is just a blank journal, but each journal comes with journal prompts. And this one again is a blank one. This is the one that I've been waiting for because I haven't journaled and I haven't had like an empty journal to journal. The only journal that I've been using so far. Also, another quick side note, this is my current summer read. I just got it. Um, on Amazon yesterday. I started reading it yesterday and I cannot wait to get into it. I can't wait to lay by the pool, read that book. If you have any summer read recommendations, please let me know. But this is what we're currently reading. But anyways, my gratitude journal is the only journal that I've been using for the last month or so. And I love this journal, don't get me wrong. I love using it every morning and every night. But the only problem with this journal is there isn't a space for you to free write your thoughts and really go deeper, which is something that I personally need. I think this is an amazing journal to start with if you don't really journal and you want to just get into the habit of journaling more. This is amazing. Or if you just want to be able to journal f for five minutes in the morning and in the evening, this is a great journal. Like I said, I do use this every morning and every evening, but occasionally, occasionally there are times when... 
I do have a lot more on my mind and I just want to get a little deeper, journal more on my thoughts. And don't, mind, don't mind the cream on my face. I just took a shower. I'm nice and clean and I did my skincare. I have a little spot treatment on my face, but I actually mentioned this on my last episode that as someone who talks a lot about self-care, I actually have not been prioritizing my own self-care lately in terms of emotional self-care, spiritual, spiritual self-care, mental self-care. I've done a lot of like physical and social self-care. I love to go shopping, getting my nails done, going to brunch with a girlfriend. That's also a form of self-care, but there's also other aspects to self-care that are really important. There's actually different types of self-care if you didn't know so there's mental self-care emotional spiritual social um physical and there's another one i think and i just feel like lately i've been neglecting my emotional mental and spiritual self-care and i know a big Part of that is because I have not had a journal, but now we have a journal, so I'm excited to get back into that type of self-care because I am the type of person who needs that. As I mentioned, that's how I process things. It's a form of therapy for me. It's a therapeutic outlet. It's, that's how I feel my best, and as of lately, I've just felt all over the place. I felt like I haven't had time to process anything. I haven't had time to take anything in, and there's a lot happening, and I just want to, like take everything in process everything and anyways what i'm trying to say is we're gonna have a good self-care night tonight so let's go make this sleepy girl mocktail and then get into this journaling